What was you doing before you came here? Leave me alone! Stop asking you. questions! Oh, sounds like sex noises. I mean, with John's voice, do I really mind? No. Leave me alone! What? She hasn't changed a little. No! <laughs> this is barely a house. So sure this is a porta potty. Now I bet you had thought that I had forgotten about the epilogue and about you. And to that I say, were you doubting me? Where is the faith? Where is the faith? I had a plan. I always have a plan. Duchess Vanderlyn always has a plan. Anyway, hi everybody, it's your girl Tofu. Today we are back with some Red Dead Redemption 2 and we are starting the epilogue today and I had not forgotten. I am so excited, so, so, so excited to be here. I was actually finding myself craving, like hella craving Red Dead Redemption 2 the other night. I was like getting really oddly nostalgic about it. I'm like, damn, I really miss that game. I really wish it wasn't over and then I'm like, now wait a damn minute, it's not over! We still got the epilogue to play! So I am actually so excited to dive back into this. As you'll see, we are prepared, we are in the spirit of Red Dead with kind of an augmented version of our Dutch Duchess Vanderlyn cosplay. Um, like I didn't want to put on a wig to record, sorry. I, we changed up a few things. Like I'm I'm in sweatpants right now. Like I'm not actually in like the Dutch pants with the Dutch belt and, and everything. But if you do want to go look at the like actual cosplay photos that we did, they are on Instagram. And we also did like a little video thing on Twitter if you guys want to go check those out. Uh, before we get started with today, I do want to give a huge thank you to Twist Frenzy for gifting us something that was on our Amazon wish list. Let me show it to you guys. I'm actually so excited. Let me show it to you guys. This baby is perhaps the most beautiful gift I have ever gotten from one of you guys. This little lady right here is a really heavy <laughs> replica of a rifle from the same kind of time period that Red Dead Redemption 2 is set in. I'll just call it like Western rifle replica. But anyway, isn't she beautiful? Look at the details. Isn't she lovely? Here, wait, let me switch a camera real quick so you guys can see the, like, the entire thing. Isn't she beautiful? She is so lovely. I swear to God, she's like 10 pounds. Like, this this is pretty heavy. Look at some of those details. Aren't those nice? <laughs> and BAM! And I am just sitting here admiring my replica YouTube. No need to get your fucking panties in a twist. I'm not telling anyone to go buy firearms or anything, so don't even try. Don't even fucking try to demonetize this video, I swear to fucking God. Anyway, Twisted, thank you so much for this incredible gift. She's just an absolute beauty. I, I'm just so incredibly grateful for such a thing, and I'm really excited to use her in an upcoming cosplay that I have planned that is also um, in the realm of Red Dead Redemption 2 themed. <laughs> Alright guys, I think it's time to actually get into some gameplay. Let's do it. Oh my god, just hearing like the music is giving me like intense feels. Intense feels, I tell you, and I, I'm hormonal today, so if anyone so much as mentions Arthur in today's episode, I'm just gonna s straight up sob. And you know what? I warned you beforehand. I'm warning you. I'm just telling you. That is a possibility um, that is very likely to happen. If there is anything to do with Arthur today, I will lose it completely and I will check myself into a mental hospital because I swear to god the games lately we've been playing on the channel is mm, they've been messing with my mental health. I know that sounds stupid but actually for the, there, there's been some very compelling research about how characters in like anime and characters in TV shows or games like you really connect to them as if they were real people. So when you grieve them you're, you're actually grieving. Your body doesn't really know they're not real, you know? Some years later... All right, I feel like I can actually pay attention to this now that um, I'm not crying from despair and unhappiness. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on our sail. He looks so Not old me. here. You mean Jack? Me. The one, me who went and shot him. Seems like he deserved shoot. <laughs> I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. <laughs> You gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to No, 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 no. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please try. Try what? Get like a job. Like like a job. Live somewhere from <laughs> Without just a few murdering weeks. people. <laughs> just a thought, okay. just an idea. Let's see what we can find in in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? Micah fucked I know they like strawberry good, over. Honest, he fucked it up. Men, a whole lot more than angry killers. 
so make yourself which in retrospect should have told us everything every, what uh, the type of person he is in retrospect his introduction should have been an immediate red flag for us no cap no cap good and honest i'm always honest maybe not always good but i'm always honest my whole life i've been surrounded by fools with moral codes Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. No. Well, read different books then. No. The book She's doing Jax. just fine. And well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. That's not a bad influence. Boy. He's a good influence. I'm sorry, sir. What was that? He's I so said much you're older. A bad influence. On your mother. What's your books? I'm gonna fall Which off. books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore? I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. King Arthur. King. Arthur and Guinevere. There's King Arthur. Yeah. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kinda like them. You know what? So do I. I like the name Arthur too. It's a great name. It's a fabulous name. My next cat will be named Arthur. And you know what? I think it's time to sob. They didn't mention Arthur specifically, but the name Arthur just is gonna is getting my emotions just tied up in a little knot right now. Ah. It's so great to be back though. These beautiful environments with a threat of killing all three people. If I just like steer it off a cliff real quick, you know, like I the rush of adrenaline I feel. I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Isn't there Why some... don't you pull up just okay, here? Hold on. Sorry to interrupt you, dude. Sorry. I'm what gonna go it? see what kind of good, honest work I can find. <laughs> Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. So are we just gonna leave the wagon here like permanently or okay. Oh, I remember this shop. I went here with Arthur. I got him a beautiful outfit. Oh. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I mean, he looked I great in it. Wanted sign outside? Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Milton. Yeah. My wife and I, and our boy, we was robbed a mm. few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, do we know that? I'm <laughs> sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? Right it's outside. It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. It's kind of weird to be having like a normal interaction like that, asking for a job. Oh, let me go tell my wife. Like, I don't think I've ever heard John say something so normal. <laughs> That's just me, though. That's just me. That's just what I'm feeling. It's just such a weird interaction. Like we didn't we didn't threaten to shoot him. We didn't hog tie no one. We didn't beat someone up. It's a it's a new experience for me. And you know what? It's not that bad. I'm interested to see how much John has, I guess, really Thank changed you, in the last few years. Hey! <laughs> how you getting on? I found some work. Me too. No, oh, nice and Whatever easy. Gets Yay. Out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. Nice. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. 
Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. He gonna say it back, or is it just one of those things that, like, she knows and he just left it unsaid? All right, Han Solo, don't say it back. It's fine, it's whatever. Time to return to the wagon. It's so weird to be controlling someone else. Is it just me, or does he move a little bit faster than Arthur? You know what? I'm probably just hallucinating. Now I'm thinking about Arthur, and I want to cry, though. You ride slow now. Yetis don't want his goods damaged. I will do my best, which isn't saying a lot, but I will do my best. <laughs> West past Owen Chila, then follow the road north. Okay. Oh no. There's like an incline. I can I can sense an accident in our future. It's there, it's happening, it's coming. I just I just fucking know it. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. That was a close one. I don't wanna damage no goods. Oh fuck, that was close to you know what? Let, let's just take a deep breath. There will be no accidents today, if I can help it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I tried not to run over the bunny. No? What What do you say no to? Maybe he wanted me to kill the bunny. I don't know. God, imagine playing this game without waypoints. I could never. The, the thought of it alone just terrifies me. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of the music right now. It's not very calm or peaceful. It sounds mysterious. I feel like I'm about to get ambushed any moment. Do you hear the music? What's it called? The mandolin? I don't even remember, but like this instrument is eerie. Like I feel like there's something up. I feel like I'm going to get ambushed at any moment by like former enemies or some shit, you know? Honestly, I just have so many questions about what the epilogue is about and where it's gonna take us, so I'm definitely pumped to be here, y'all. So, I miss Arthur. <laughs> oh, Arthur, I miss him already. <laughs> it's been like two seconds in this game and I'm already like aching for his presence, his vibes, his energy. This must be it. Oh my God. <laughs> Almost ran, almost made a little accident right there. Not a big deal. Not me making an accident, like, almost as soon as I arrived to my destination. God, no. That's not within character for me. I would never do stuff like that. I don't do that all the time. Howdy, partner. I'm Mr. Geddes. No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, no. Now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. I get Micah vibes Ooh. from these two. I'm ready to shoot. I'm ready to shoot. I'm ready to fucking stab. I don't think there's I'm any ready for it. For that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down no, 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 no. <laughs> no, let's go get it. That's my wagon. <laughs> Come back here. Wait, why didn't we <laughs> shoot anyone? Horse. And don't get yourself hurt. Or hurt them for that matter. Okay. Wait, so you don't want me to hurt them? I what I don't even know what that means. Come back here! That's my damn wagon! Oh my god. What are you doing? No no no, go after them. I tried to jump. I tried. It didn't fucking work. Easy! You're getting out of that wagon one way or another. Get on with you! Do I have any guns on me? Whoa, whoa. All you had to do was ask. Are they gonna kill me? I feel like they're gonna kill me. Like us. All we're asking is Mr. Gaddy's takes Mr. Abel's offer. Or, well, we might not be so cooperative. 
Okay. Oh wait, what's in the saddlebag? Maybe, maybe it's goodies. I mean, this isn't my horse, but like, let's pretend for a moment it is and take the goodies. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna take the wagon, right? And just return it. Well, that went really normally. There is something really normal about what we've played so far in these first five, 10 minutes. It's unnerving. <laughs> Very normal. There, there's no stabbing. There's no shooting. There was no death, murder. Thank you. I mean... Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank they, you. They just, Don't mention it. They just left. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but... They just left. I was serious. There was you no... got work? We'll work. There was no blood. We can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. What's wrong Work with being married? One of them. I'm real honest. <laughs> my wife... <laughs> Even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. We got robbed Aside and we need money. Brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Gettys need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. Okay. I'll let Mr. Gettys know when him and his wife return tomorrow. We can't mess Thank up you, this Mr. chance. Dickens. We I'll can't mess it up. Wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. We Thank get you. a home? We'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Is the entire epilogue gonna be this chill and like normal? Cause like, it's gonna take me a moment to get adjusted to that, but I can totally get on board. I can 100% be on board with the, the normalness, the, the, the normalcy, all the vibes of normalness, yes. I can, I can, I can adjust to this. I will not mind this. Epilogue part one, Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, I feel like I'm going to enjoy this, y'all. I feel like I'm going to enjoy it. Alrighty. We should complete the wheel. Alright. So let me just... Actually, okay, wait. Hear me out. What if, before we do our next thing, what if we explore our living areas? Yes! How fun! How fun! Wait, how much money do you think I have? Wait, what do you think happened to all of the things I that were in Arthur's inventory? You know, I kind of want to... I, I, they're probably gone. It's been a few years, but like... I had like an emerald in there. Like, I, I had some good shit in Arthur's inventory. I'm, I'm kind of pressed that I don't think I'll be able to access that anymore. You know what? I hadn't thought about it before, but... Or maybe I, I think... I think it's probably crossed my mind. But John's really cute. Like, really cute. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, you know what? Okay, call me crazy. But the scars give his face some fucking character. They make him hotter. Somehow. I don't know how that works, but it works. Alright, let's take this horse. Will this horse die on me? Huh? Okay. Oh, it's right here. I didn't even realize how close this was. I thought, it, I, thought I would have to ride back into town for some reason. Nope, here I am, ready to Milton, work. Get over here. Why did Mr. we Geddes, choose Milton? This is the new ranch hand I told you about. Milton well, I heard you had name. some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Is he suspicious Boy, of us? Well, lucky man. Is that guy you suspicious work of us? Extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. It's 100%. Hey. He is so hey. fucking... He, he's here. so Mr. suspicious Dickens? of us. Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Oh, he's... Oh. He knows something's up with us, and I'm getting real scared. Go us. We already ruined something way. nice for ourselves. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, oh, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? I really couldn't say from this distance. Is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. 
Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Kill you. Yeah. Can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no. Sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. It's been like 15 minutes. We've already fucked up with the guy who's giving us Mrs. a job. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's nice. nice. But I hear you began your career oh in ranching God. by throwing your weight around. Oh my God. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I love the way her tone shifted. Go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. As soon as the doors are shut, then we can truly, truly see what we feel. I was going to milk the cows. Come on. I'll do it. You? Are gonna milk the cows? Sure, why not? Sure. <laughs> why not? I am literally I don't know. on the same wavelength as John. You was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one at that. When you got here, them hired guns? Yeah. I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. <laughs> no. Where are you from, anyway, Oh, partner? God. Everyone's so... Why is everyone well, so friendly you know, and nosy? Up north, <laughs> mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. So <laughs> many questions. It's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. Yeah. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question... Oh god, what are you gonna fucking ask are now? Are you a gunslinger, mister? What makes... What gives you that impression? Oh, good lord, no. <laughs> what gives you Nothing that impression, like that. though? Now, just a ranch hand, then. Why are... Just a ranch Why hand. is everyone suddenly so much smarter? Failed in a bunch <laughs> of things, like most men. <laughs> well, why did he ask us about the gunslinger? I feel a whole better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. Why did he ask us that? <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Okay. I feel like there's something... Weird happening under the surface that I'm not understanding. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Did you eat them or something? Most Are you of cannibals? Them it off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. You'll have to teach you me, never, I guess. Never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down. I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Oh look! Is it it's easy, right? Is it easy like this in real life? Because the game oh, sure making it the, gir, the 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 <laughs> the game sure making it seem like it's easy. Is it really that fast? I feel like I feel like they sped it up for the sake of the game. You know what? Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? I've decided that I want to go to a ranch and I want to learn how to milk a cow. And then I want to drink the cow's milk, even though I'm pretty sure I'm lactose intolerant. And then I want to vlog the entire experience. Is it just me or would that be so much fun? I feel like that would be so much fun. I'm going to put on my to do list now. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're going to make a dairy maid of your pa, yeah. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. Is there a reason why we can't like pull both of them at the same time? Jim, come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. sure. Come on, son. Everything's. It's so simple and kind of How peaceful now, and calm. Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Which means I'm suspicious of the situation. I like it. I got 
I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. He's going to be a smart one. Pleasant work I mean, he's already a smart one. But Jack is he's going to be even smarter. I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mhm. Mm I think it's so cute that his name is Lancelot. I wonder if there's a reason why they or did he want to be called Lancelot and not Arthur? Okay. What made them choose yeah, Lancelot them specifically out of I'll see you later. Out of Bye. all of the names okay. Jack, from the book. Try and take some pride in this work. Yeah. Hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Okay. Manure time. Poopa scooping time. Pooper scooper time. Pick up manure. It would You're smell real bad. Away from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Oh my god. Sorry, sir. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Why would you say that out loud, John? <laughs> Why? Oh, Someone's gonna fucking delicious. hear us. Oh, Jack, I'm sorry. I mean Lancelot. I mean Lancelot. I shouldn't even think of them as uh John and Abigail and think your mother's hiding somewhere? Laughing at us? Yes. <laughs> Ew. She's not mad at us. <laughs> She's definitely laughing. I think this is the most normal thing I've ever done in a game. Oh, it like sticks to the pitchfork. Oh, ew, ew. You know what? I wouldn't mind learning how to do this in real life either. I mean, not not that it would be like difficult, I guess, but I, I wouldn't mind having the experience. I'd wear a gas mask uh, before I came in though. <laughs> Shit. Shit, that's the word you're thinking of. <laughs> Trying the pitch for Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. I I pressed Now wait a damn minute. The stalls were abandoned. I walked one step too far while pressing triangle and you thought I failed a mission? Inflexible bastards. Fine, let's restart checkpoint. I swear to fucking god. Did you see that? I saw that with my eyes. I hope you saw that with your eyes. That was unjust. That was unfair. Okay. I, are you putting me all the way back here? Jesus fucking Christ, mate! Ah, fucking God, I swear to fucking Jesus. Gunslinging to shit shoveling. Great. Is that a different piece of dialogue? I don't remember. I don't remember hearing that the last time. I like this music, the humming in the background. Hmm. 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 Look at this horse shit. Come back here. Why did you move away from me? So I'd have to walk further? Pfft, stupid child. I could get poop flex on your face. All right, now when we return the pitchfork this time, mother would say we're almost done here. let's try we'll not to fail up, the we'll fucking mission. Okay. Look at us. No oh, you want it? Oh, it's on the inside. Okay. Well, that makes more sense. I take it back. The game wasn't being stupid, I was being stupid. Then again, I'm not surprised. I cannot blame the game for doing dumbass shit when it was all my fault. Oh, Abigail! I mean, I mean, I mean, Mrs... Fuck, what's her name again? Milton. <laughs> I think it's so fucking funny they decided on Milton of all names. At least it's not Vanderland. I mean. <laughs> hey. They could have chosen a worse name. <laughs> Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want? It's not so bad. Same as I've been? Won't do him no harm. It's safe. I know. Compared to other things, you know? It's not glamorous, but it's safe. Here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. Yeah. Maybe we can thrive. thrive. And <gasps> Plot twist. So, what do you know? Me too. I'm sorry to interrupt the flow of the cutscene, but John right here with his current beard, he looks like an exact mix of Dutch and Arthur in one person. Like, look at it. He totally does. He totally does. Oh. Oh, my heart. It's so sweet. Chicken! Rooster! Thing. 
I'll put some coffee on. Where are y'all's blankets? <laughs> or pillows. I mean, I don't sleep with a pillow, but like, do y'all not have pillows? Oh, it's so beautiful this early in the morning. Okay, okay, what should we do next? We've got a few options. It looks like that's not what I wanted to do. Let's open her up. Okay, David or Tom? Who's closer? Uh, they're kind of the same distance. Let's uh, let's do Tom. Let's just let's just do Tom. What is the waypoint doing? Okay, I'm. <laughs> what the fuck? Most useless waypoint I've ever set in my entire life. I love the blue flowers here. Are they lavender or are they a different kind of herb? They're just beautiful. They're a blue purpley color. Did you see that stupid ass waypoint? Hey, Milton. Disgusting. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Ah. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? Leave me alone! Stop asking you. questions! Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful. Yeah. I guess I don't believe a word of it. What's up his asshole? Like, I was raised Jesus. to take a man at his word. And also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Hmm. I just hope he stops asking questions. Yep. There's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. The lighting is a little weird there. Do you know what this reminds me of? Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Oh, no. Right there. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Did I do it right or did I do it horribly wrong? How heavy do you think these things are? They don't look Fine. like they would be that heavy, but I get the feeling they are. That's it. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of doing chores back in like kind of the early parts of the game. Like chores around camp, we'd chop wood. That looks okay. You know? Go to the next post and pound that in. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. There we go. Pick it up. I hope you've grasped the basics. Me too, but I've probably forgotten them in all likelihood. To, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. We're gonna be doing this the entire so day? I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. okay. Jesus. I'm gonna be doing this all day. Boring, but very little risk of injury and death, you know? Holy shit. Like, you know, I don't think I could ever handle manual labor. I have so much respect for people who do shit like this back then and who do shit like this right now, like construction work type of shit, you know? Like, I have so much respect for that. I could never. Uh, I'm in the sun for longer than like five minutes and like I melt like a popsicle. I'm I'm a weakling. Why'd you call me boy? I'm getting here the fast, fast as I, fast as I can. Hurry, hurry! What do you want me to do? Because you can. Milton, get over here. What are you? Coming. Okay. Come on, give us a hand. Y'all are in the fucking way. What about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton. Hey, hey there. This is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of chuck. Chunk. Uh, come on. What do you want me to do? Oh. Okay, that was kind of dumb of me. I'll get him. Just keep on the milk. Try and calm down. Shoot. Shoot. Oh my god, he's gonna get me. He's gonna fucking kill me. What the shit? I thought I lassoed him successfully. I didn't. What? Now, now, now tell me why this ain't working. I'm doing something wrong. I'm hella doing something wrong. Come back here, you stupid fat chunk of hamburger. Ah! 
God damn it. This stupid cow. God fucking damn it. I'm gonna die from this. Oh. How do... Y'all probably never thought such a thing were possible, but that's why I'm here to show you that yes, people can be horrible enough at this game that they die from a fucking thing with horns. A goat with horns, you know? You should be grateful, count your blessings, eat your veggies. Let's try this again. God, what would y'all do without me? You get to see endless possibilities with my ineptitude. We just gotta run out of the way when he charges at us. He's like after me. He's like after me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Did you see that? Did you fucking see that? Oh, oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm doing something wrong. Nice and easy now, boy. There, there. There, there. Whoa, there. It's okay. Whoa, there. You were all right, easy, boy. Easy, easy. You were all right, That's my boy. friend. All better? Okay. <laughs> now, come on, you hunk of Chuck. Why do you keep saying hunk of Chuck? Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. Only took me, like, 500 hey, years. Doing, son? bit sore, but I'll be okay. All right, good. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we don't yeah. need heads or anything. That's not very there important. Is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. I feel like we're proving our worth to them, which is good. It's gonna be our everyday life now. Get up early, do some work, go to sleep, hey. repeat, Ooh. rinse and repeat. I'll get the coffee home. Seriously, do they not have blankets? Like, where are their blankets? I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? When I wake up, I'm, I in, I'm a you. fucking burrito. Cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Bye. <laughs> get the place tidy. Wait, does she mean like she's actually okay, gonna steal? Pop. I'll see you later. This day looks very familiar to yesterday. I get the feeling that will only continue. Doing work. Wake up with Abigail in the morning. Go do more work. Alright, you gotta be around here somewhere. I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to fall, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I can help. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe! Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Alright. Time to help out, me suppose. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Hey, since you showed up, Runaway horse has been to some of our problems, and I am thankful for that. I like Abe. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. He's nosy but oh, friendly. Hey, I like him. He's nice. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. <laughs> of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh. When Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Does he sleep oh. with people in town? Uh, okay then. Does he go to, like, brothels and right. prostitute houses? He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. Sounds like an expensive habit to keep. Uh-huh. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Jim John hey. Milton. Need a hand with that horse? No. Well, I would get out of the way. You sure about that? Okay, yes. He was, yes, a, he was just about to get Pretty stepped on. That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. 
Settle down, okay? Jeremiah is beautiful. Hey. Look at that Come glossy on. coat. Easy boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? <laughs> onions. No, wait, where was it? Go back. Calm down. It's okay. Give me the option. There we go. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. As you Can should. Teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you. Sure. I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Hey, boy. I'm gonna take him out first. That sounded Burn some so of much like of Arthur. Him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. The hey, boy. You're a good boy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, fella. All right, we got to deplete someone's stamina, and I am an expert. Show me this. I am so good at depleting a horse's stamina and not replenishing it and not letting it rest. Finally, something I can fucking do in this game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giddy up. I was made for this. I was fucking made to tire horses out in this game. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You got this. Yes, yes, yes. Get tired. Get hella tired. Okay. That was fun, wasn't it? You can behave now, can't you? He's all tired all right. out for you, boy. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and <laughs> go nice and slow. You got this. Stay calm. You are all right. Me? The horse. You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Oh. Keep your voice calm. And your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. They can smell it on you. Fine. Real nice. Yeah, you got it. Good job, boy. Boy. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there ain't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Mm. Yeah. You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. Oh, thank right. you. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? Nah. They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie. And if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse yeah yes sir i think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone oh i'm not sure about that <laughs> you're good nice you got this now. i believe in you both of you you mr milton that i do be I thought you were gonna help me i am i was i'm sorry come on i need a man's help duncan what have i told you about distracting the hands i'm sorry ma well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. John is so this fatherly. Is uh, such Arthur vibes. He learned from the best how to be a good man. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Absolutely Not nothing. Too much. <laughs> my God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town. Oh, you know. For hands. I'm sorry, girl. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Just go on. And just stick it. Whatever you say, ma'am. Oh, lordy. Why can't she do it? Find legs. Oh, go. Okay, now go. hold on. Oh, God. It's coming out one way or another. Grab them again. Come on. But it's not working. I don't think I'm doing something right. My stick isn't working. What do you want me to do here? It just sounds like sex noises. I mean, with John's voice, do I really mind? No. But it doesn't sound quite right. Do it. Oh, 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 we did something right. I don't know what we did, but something worked. I, I still don't even know what I did. I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Good. Great. 
We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. Oh. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house. Oh sometime. my god, I knew her hand was lingering on his shoulder for too long. I I saw something sus and I'm like, nah, nah. And then she comes back with this. Even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. I ain't cheating on Abigail. I like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh. You're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, <laughs> too busy for social calls. Of course. <laughs> she got out Good of there day. real quick. Oh my god. Oh my god. She just tried to proposition us. You know what? Can you blame her though? He's a hunk. He is a hunk of chunky hotness. He he ain't chunky. I don't know why I said that. Yo, Abigail, you would not believe what just happened. Let me spill the tea real quick. The lady of the house just tried to bed me. Oh yeah, she just wanted a little a little eater 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 in the fucking bed while her husband's out. Hey John. Hey. Jim. We gonna tell you. Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way. Horrible. Dickens sees clean through John. us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on, please, for me, for him. It's not so bad, just a little boring. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Maybe quiet. Maybe the pony will help. You know. Sure. But why is he drawn? Please. Oh, why is he withdrawn though? Like, did I miss something? I probably missed Come something. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Maybe he just wants to read because he's like Come going on. through puberty and he likes the imaginary world and it's more exciting than his real world. Like, leave the boy alone. I let him read his books and escape to a better world. Do not deny your child this. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan. Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. It's a little bonding trip. Fine. Can we go home? <laughs> this is no. home. <laughs> You're... Stay calm. Where was the other home? Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I want to know where I their old know. home was. But maybe that stream? Okay. Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know, the horse can Little feel your fear. Time. Just act confident, okay? Uh huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Ooh, 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 ooh. I done fucked up. <laughs> now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a. Go faster, sure. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. This is so sweet. Bonding time with our son. Even faster. Come on. You can do it. Faster? What's happening? Oh, wait. Help. Easy there. Easy You're fine. There. Oh, it's not Whoa. letting me slow him Jack. down. Oh, shit. I swear to God, if his. Okay, his back isn't broken. I was about to be like, wait, where are you going? Wait, where are you okay? fucking going? Damn. Watch your language. You okay? Yeah, I think so. You wouldn't let me slow him you down. Know it if you are. Get back on. Okay. Lordy. All right. Note to myself: Do not All let right. our small child Let's go that go fast again. Jack is like, I don't even want to be fucking doing this. Like, can I just go back inside with my book and mum, please? I you hate know? being outside. This ain't so bad, sir. Oh, never mind. I take yeah. it back. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. No, he's just fine. He enjoying himself. You can go a little faster. Why if you don't want. we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. Try not to fall off this time. Yeah. Oh, he's getting confidence. Did you hear his little yaw? Oh, I'm so proud. You can go a little faster. We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Oh, yeah. this is so cute. Oh, I just had a really sad thought. This is everything Arthur deserved. Having a son, teaching him how to ride. Now really stick your boot in. 
Like if you say so. Come on, boy. Normal life. Ah. Everything that John has, I wanted for Arthur. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cry. No tears today. You can go even faster if you want. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. He's getting confident. Hopefully he doesn't fall and break his neck. Just a thought. Okay. Just a hope. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Wait, where do I find this stream? Do I just keep going? Return to Jack. I was going definitely the wrong way. <laughs> Should I get off the yep. horse, or? <laughs> I know you fell, but you think you're ready for a little race? I'll be fine. All right. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I wasn't fucking. I, I wasn't paying attention for some reason. I don't know there what I was thinking, go. but hopefully he wins. That would be really good for his confidence if he won. You know what? I planned for this all along. I want him to win. Because I'm a good father, and you don't have to beat down your child all the time, you know? You can, you can let them win some things, you know? It's healthy. Sometimes you gotta tell them like it is and be real, but like sometimes letting them win you don't hurt. Don't hurt nobody. Alright, okay, now he's getting a little too far. A little too far for my comfort. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. I'm gonna speed it up. There we go, there we go. Oh yeah, we nick and nick, boy, we nick and nick. You gonna win, you gonna win? You gonna show your paw what's up? Oh, fuck me! Oh, yes you are, sweetie, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud, I'm so proud. Oh, I'm gonna let him win. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, he got us, he got us good. <laughs> You did great! I beat you! I beat you! I well beat... ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. I'm so proud. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. <laughs> you need it. Oh, well. Wow. Do I hear gunshots? Oh, I think I hear gunshots in the distance. Oh, no, no, no. Who died? Am I gonna die? Oh my god! What are y'all doing? You watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, don't antagonize oh, them. To this. Real funny. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's like that. That could be the case. Yes. I forgot what my block one is. My what's my how do I block? I guess it don't matter because we're beating the shit out of him. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna stop it. She's gonna be angry get off, at us. Get off that man! Get off him. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Don't you fucking touch her. Leave my wife alone. She would oh, kick your she's ass. Real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy. Tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> kind of refreshing. You, Mr. Milton. That Thank you. it didn't escalate Don't further. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. I didn't really. He started it. What, you just want me to get the fucking daylights punched out of me and do nothing to defend myself? I could have just dodged him the entire time, I guess, but that's not very fun. That's not very exciting. 
<sighs> Abigail's really hell bent on having a leading a normal life. Me, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Why is he thinking about Dutch right now? You know what? That makes me question. Where is Dutch right now? Hopefully he's just like dead from like old I'm age. Here. I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Oh, there's some real tea that's happening over there. Let's go. Let's go find out what it is. Let's go find out what's happening over here with y'all. Y'all arguing. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. Yeah. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. No, I get I'll you. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. What is she doing? <laughs> Did she not like clean it well enough? Or wait, anybody want some more? Mm. Does it taste bad? Uh, no, 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 I'm thank good. You. Oh, it tastes bad, doesn't it? I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 it got so all dark right. all of a sudden. It's late. Let's get some rest. What? Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. Look at them. Do they sleep on top of their blankets? Is it because it's summer and it's hot? Oh my God! What happened? What the hell was that? Who died? What are you, where are you it's probably going? Mr. Geddes. He probably died in his sleep, and now his wife Josh, probably got shot Abigail. too. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh no. What? Who's this? New hand? Oh my god. Oh, you're that tough guy they just took on. Yeah, I heard about you. You're breathing your last. Okay. They've killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've oh. stolen my goddamn camel. I'm sorry, I don't know who Mr. Tolbert okay? is, but so. yeah. may he Jim rest Milton in peace. My life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Aww. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We I What are you doing? My job. Yeah. Abigail. My goddamn job. She ain't gonna be happy about this one. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Alright, well if you're leading the way, how about you start moving? Alright, I'ma start moving. We've got guns yeah, and everything. Yeah, wow. Right. Wow. Real quick, do I have a lantern on me? Yeah, I don't have a lantern on me. I looked for one for a while. <laughs> Oh, it's so pretty at night. Oop. I think this is the right way. Yeah, that's the right way. <gasps> Look at the stars! It's so nice. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom, 
You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Damn, we good. Yeah. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn? I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. Oh my god, he's gonna shoot. <laughs> You've seen how many men he's we got? Shoot. As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed, before you what get if, a hole in your head. What if I just shoot him just real quick? Shoot him. Oh my god, wait. Bad decision. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I'm enjoying this one. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh. Oh. Just as God Lord intended. Yes. I don't even know where they are. There's more? I can't find them. I can't find them. Oh, I'm forward. That's that's a good start. I'm kind of in the bushes. I can't okay, okay. Well no, they're already dead. Wait, I don't want to shoot the horses. Oh my god, wait, they're everywhere. Okay, wait, there's one right here. Where's he? Where's he? I can't find him. I see him. I see him now. No! Headshot! 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 Next shot! I'll fucking take it. Okay, Jesus Christ, that took a moment. I can't see where these people are. Oh my god, we just fell over? Why couldn't you just... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Get this guy! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. All right, there's another one. Where is he? Oh, that looks like a buddy boy, but he left me. Ah! Oh, oh. I don't know how an elbow shot would kill you, but who am I to... Who am I to discriminate against deadly elbow shots? You know? Like, everyone's a little bit different. Everyone's built a little bit different. Oh my god. Heal yeah. Heal yeah. Is there a better gun right here? I don't want a shotgun. I don't know why I took it, if I'm gonna be real with you. Oh, oh. It's like a long distance shotgun. I'll take it. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Are you a bad guy? No, I think he died. Oh my god! Goodbye, Lufflinda, when you? Ho oh, ho! Goodbye! <laughs> I like this gun, it's very nice. Wait, there's still a bad guy somewhere, where is he? Ha ha! I knew it. Oh, 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 oh! You thought you could escape me, Duchess Vanderland? <laughs> Sir, please. Damn, Milton, you son of a bitch! I see you, Milton. You're gonna be sorry. For Where are you, big fella? I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, oh shit. shit! Shoveling backwoods, Saka, no good, trash. Oh. Come on, break free! Break free! Jesus. What if I just shoot you? Can I not do that? God. A big boy. Oh my god. I can't really see. That's all I'll 
I'm gonna fucking die because of this bitch. I'm gonna fucking die! I'm so bad at this shit! You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's gotta make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sick dip, get the stink of you off her farmhand! <laughs> For your information, sir, I am very hot. I don't know what you're talking about. I have scars on my face, and I am ruggedly handsome. Like, I simply don't know what you mean. Abigail is a very lucky woman. And, more than my looks, I am respectful to Abigail. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Before I ride back... Oh, my fucking god. I want to dig a health thingy. Yes. I want to loot. Is that bad? Give me like 500 years. Give me a minute. <laughs> I got stuck right there. Where are all the bodies and why can't I loot them? Okay, there we go. We found the bodies. We're looting successfully. Hey, there's gotta be good stuff on these guys, you know? I will take whatever this is. No? Yes. Oh my fucking god. Please take it. Noise. <gasps> what is this? No, wait, go back. Valerian root. I used to take Valerian root. Did it help? I really couldn't tell you. I don't even remember it being useful because I don't even remember what I was taking it for. But I've taken it. Don't taste too bad. The bells in the background kind of fuck me up though. Like no cap. They kind of make me scared. I hate the bells. Yeah, this reminds me exactly of the Sadia Adler fight with the Odriscolls. Like the entire place looks exactly the same. Oops. Shit, didn't mean to do that. Pick up cleaver. Sure. Can I not pick up a cleaver? Okay, that was weird. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun to use. You know what? I'm just gonna hold it around so that I feel big and strong. You know what? Okay, this was the O'Driscoll place that Sadie and I went to, huh? It totally is. It looks exactly the same. I know I'm probably super late to the party of realizing what's fucking ha fucking happening, but I just now put the pieces together and I'm, I'm really happy about it, okay? Names in this game just all sort of jumble around for me, so to figure out that it's the same place, I'm proud. It might have been common sense to you, sir, but it was not for me, and thus I am very pleased. I remember being here for a while looting when I was with Sadie. Coin purse! <gasps> oh, it was totally worth it to come in here. Pick it up. Noise. <gasps> oh wait, wait, what are you doing? No, take the take the the, the 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 bullet things that you saw. They were right here. John, what did you do with them? They were right here. I just saw something. John! John, I swear to god. Okay, I guess they're lost forever. Loot the lockbox. I <laughs> don't don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Oh, here are the repeater cartridges. Noise. All right, let's just do a once over around the house and then we'll continue on. Sorry, I'm taking forever here. <laughs> There's some good stuff though. You can't deny me this. You cannot tell me I was incorrect. I'm gonna take the cigarettes anyway. Like, I know we don't really use them, but don't at me. God, I fucking love looting. <laughs> oh, it brings me, it brings me intense joy. It do, it do be like that. I hope the wolves from last time aren't still around here. Now, for some reason, I can't explain. For some reason, I can't explain. I never really used this feature often when I was <laughs> playing the entire fucking game. But I'm gonna use it now in the epilogue. <laughs> Another booty boy right here. Delicious. <laughs> Only $143. Not a lot, but it's honest work. So I'm making honest money, right? And this is so honest. And look at me being just the uh, epitome of honesty. I swear to God, give me like 10 minutes and I'll be ready to finally leave this place and continue on with the mission. Open chewing tobacco. I don't really use that, but you know what? I'm a hoarder, so I'm gonna take it anyway. All right, y'all. I'm finally done. I'm finally ready <laughs> to finish this, on, this, this mission. Damn. Oh, it's such a nice night. And because like the night is kind of blue, I can see. 
Not very well, but I can see the flowers definitely help me. They look kind of neon. They really stand out. Love being able to see during dark sections of the game. <laughs> it's always been a challenge for us. <laughs> now I know what you're saying. You're like, turn up the brightness, you bitch. I'm um, like, no, because if I were to see it well on my screen, it would look completely different for you guys. Just the recording setup, like, it's just, it's just the way it be. There's another solution for it. I haven't found it yet. I haven't hey, made an effort with it yet. You did real well, Mr. Milton. That I do. This man do. can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you. <laughs> you saved okay. my No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Whew. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight. But how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Yeah, of course. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. Uh, I understand. You get some rest. Will thank do. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Oh, we gonna have a fight, I think. Oh, I think we're about to have a fight. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Silent treatment. He's kind of got a point, like, what was he supposed to do? Just, like, let it happen, sleep through the evening as well, if nothing had happened? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Oh, God. I miss his voice. No tears. No tears today, sir. No, sir. I'm completely fine. How you getting on? Fatherhood Surviving. for idiots? <laughs> what? think here I'll get you some coffee her well, solution to everything to is just is... brewing some coffee well, no undertakers like me cattle not so much that ain't true I ain't no rancher rustled horses not raised them stole cattle not birthed them you can do this John I believe I was, in you I was reading the newspaper I was reading about a Old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater? Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been has been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I mean, he is, Tired, but... <laughs> I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. I really understand her frustration Just here. Feels hopeless. You're... You're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Will do. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. There's nothing wrong Lance with being soft. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods. Me. What? Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Exactly. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. All right. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Yeah, real exciting. Get <laughs> paying Take bills, being in debt, of course. being depressed, hating existence. Ah, yes. Adulthood. Ten it's out of ten would recommend. Now, huh? Be careful on this. I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about doing things you like, boy. Hmm. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I Perhaps. Perhaps not. To protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. No. Ma was wrong about that. I don't think it was necessarily pride. 
maybe habit, but I don't think it was really pride. I can see why she thinks it was pride, but like, half of the situations yeah. we're in that she doesn't Wouldn't like, we didn't really have a choice, I don't know, really. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. <gasps> pull to one side if you want to turn. I ran over a bunny. Yeah. Right no. Oh, shit. I heard a little squeal. I think I ran over a bunny. <laughs> I guess there are choices with everything, you know? So I guess we could have chosen not to like kill people, but were we just gonna like say no and be like, Mr. Gettys, good luck, peace out. Well, we kind of had to do it. I mean, I guess there are choices with everything, but I mean, uh, didn't seem like For a very, that game's strawberry, that kid. didn't seem Looks like, like there were obvious alternatives, you know? You no, know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look. I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I'll leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. I, I, I feel like John's a pretty good dad. He's like nurturing, he's not too harsh, but I wish he would kind of leave him this alone, Jack, and let him um, stay inside and read All a book right. if he wants to, you know? But Here we are. But parent child You're bonding right, time son? is also important, so. Sure. Cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Holler okay. if someone attacks you. <laughs> and if you behave, I might let you drive us home. <laughs> Can't wait. See, it's not really his thing, I think. Yeah, he's not an outdoorsy person, I think, but then that's okay. Hi. I'm here to Name. Damn, okay. My name? Um uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Why do you have to say that? Marston. Oh my God. Bro. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Oh, God. Abigail Roberts. That person back there heard. Abigail Roberts. No. Yes, here we are. Great. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. And I will help you out. I'll take these. The clerk said his name so stuff. loudly. Marston. Marston, Marston. Here, like, pro. Let me help you with Jeez. this, Mr. Marston. No, oh uh, my so, God. Mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. Oh, God. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, Mister. So now he knows, and okay. another person who's in the post office Everything knows our real name. Up? No, sure. it's not. I hope so, at least. We're gonna get caught. Here. We're gonna get fucking caught at some point. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah! Oh. We've come all the way out here and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh... I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured. Before. Yeah. Don't you want to go to the Actually, store? question. Why? Why? I'm confused about the parcel thing with Abigail. Like, why was it under their real names? I'm sure there's like a reason, but if if, if the reason's already already been explained, I missed it. <laughs> or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. He doesn't want yes, to linger sir. around town no. more than he has to. Now the the clerk, the male clerk, knows that we are at Look, 
Giddy's Ranch or whatever, you know? So that's could be fantastic. Slow down, okay? Uh, sure. You can speed up a little right, bit. Speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Kia! <laughs> I don't want to rush him. Not after what happened last time, where he just flew off of his fucking horse. Let's take it easy, you know? Let's take it easy. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. What? Yeah. I I feel like I'm missing shit. I I'm missing something. Well, I don't like driving across here. Please don't fall off. Please don't fall off. Please don't fall off. Okay. <laughs> oh thank god. Now please don't fall off of this one either. I mean I would, but like that's not I think the point. The horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. There's something going on. There's something sus going on in this area. If the kid yeah. is noticing something off, the horse what? is nothing. Oh no. Just keep driving. See, there's more There's something sus going on. There's there's people following us. You know what? It's probably people after John Marston, you know? We're gonna have okay. to shoot some people. What? I just know it. What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pod, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Hide, 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 hide! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. What are, what are we going to okay, do? Gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Oh, no. Are you John Marson? You sure look like a mate. I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Who? Just, Who's John Marston? We don't know her. My son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No, sir. No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. Oh, shit. Well, no, my condolences. Sorry, friend, <laughs> he was trying to rob. Me. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. <laughs> oh! What are you doing? Run, run away, run away, run away. Get some cover, 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 get some cover. Okay, there's one more. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. No, I missed him. He's right here. He's right here. What if, do they have anything good on them? Let's loot them and find out. You know what, I'll just return to Jack. It is the right thing to do. Oh, Jack, you may, you may breathe now. Everything's good, it's son. Okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> Come on. Can we hug him? Keep your eyes closed. Let's go. It's so hard to remember the days where John would barely accept Jack as his son. Come on. Like, those seem yeah. like so long ago. Those years. They died. Yes. They are very dead. Fuck. The wagon became inoperable. My bad. My bad. Oh dear, those men. Yes, they are dead. Yes, they are. Compose yourself and don't tell your mom. He's gonna have a panic attack. This poor soft child. Exactly like I said. You always gotta take shortcuts. No. Really? Uh huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong. Yeah, you could have died. Oh, tell him to breathe. Inhale. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. We're okay. Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about Fuck. it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. What was it called? Mm -hmm. What was the name, boy? Beecher's Hole. Beecher's Hole. Right. <laughs> Beecher's Hole. Over by Blackwater. That didn't happen. You like the idea of that, huh? I saw the ranch. Are we really gonna be oh, near no. Blackwater, I can see though? You as boy. Like Duncan Gettys, huh? I wasn't so sure, but yeah, that kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? 
Very true. No, it wouldn't. Oh. I think it's a lovely thing. A lovely dream. We should do it. We should make it a reality. I seriously love those fields though. Look at these. Okay, here oh, we go. they're so pretty. That was an uh, <laughs> eventful trip. Well, that's one word for it. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it? Park the wagon in Broghorn Ranch. All right, well, let's park a right here. Go say hi to your mother. And a uh, boy, uh, no need to tell her about what happened today. He's gonna be like, "Daddy killed someone," and like immediately. How was the? Oh, pff. she can be like, "What'd you fucking do?" What happened? Yeah, it's. I don't. We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? <laughs> Poor Abigail. Well, we Dude, I feel so sorry for this woman. Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm a. I'm aware. It was your dress that caused all the problem. Or even a dress. What was it? It was a gift for you. Why'd you put it under your real name? Oh, God, jeez. I'm missing something here. I think I'm just being dumb. There had to have been a better... Yeah. I'm... Did I... Did a horse just... Mr. Jim? Material... Mr. Like... Jim. Hey. Did you see that? That There's horse just disappeared? There's a messenger for you. Over there. In... Near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. Oh, no. What do you think you want? I don't I know. I have no idea. I don't know, but I, I'm scared right and I... I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. Oh, I wish. Yeah, so... That's him. Oh, no. I see him. I, Thanks, I don't. Abe. I don't see him yet. I'll tell you guys when I see him. So you can get a feel for how poor my eyesight is. Yes. Perspective taking is important, my children. Is it this guy? I think I can see him now. <laughs> he blended in with the rear of his horse, okay? Hello Excuse there. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Please yes. don't say it's for John yeah. Marston. Sign there. Thank you. Who's it from? Mm -hmm. Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. To Valentine we go! Hell yes! Sadie Adler. I'll be down. We're gonna see Sadie! Oh, this is the best day of my life. This is the best day of my life. We gotta oh we're we always going back to the house to speak to Abigail after every single little thing that happens. Is that what marriage is like? Oh god. Just constantly communicate and check in with one another. You know what? That that's a sign of a healthy relationship. I don't Abigail. know why I'm complaining. Wait, did she die? Did they get abducted? Did something bad happen? What what oh Did she leave? Did she take the child and leave? Darling John. Oh my god, she took the, the child. Kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. That's rough, buddy. That's a toughie right there. <laughs> John did the best he could. Like, I saw him do the best he could, but... I understand that Abigail needed more. Well, you know what? We should go after her, low-key. Where's the wife, Milton? Um, uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy <laughs> and the bags. <laughs> Do 
why'd you even fucking What's ask? <laughs> you married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? I know. You'll starve. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. All right, return to work. We've got work to do. I feel like it's a temporary thing. I don't think she like permanently left us. We we will will prove ourselves honorable, and we'll we'll reassure her that we we can make an honest living, and we won't kill no more people. We can do it. Eventually, give me a few years. <laughs> I feel like it's not a permanent thing though, and that's why I'm not like sobbing about it. Okay, he's pitchfork. I am ready to scoop the poop. Something calming about doing chores in a game though. Can't say I hate it. I feel like that's such a tricky situation though. Like I know we literally just talked about it. I don't need to talk about it more, but like it kind of pains me like when someone does their very best, you know, but it's still not enough. Like you can't fault them for it. It's just not working out, you know? Look at us being productive and non-murdering person. We're doing some real hard work. His back probably hurts. I can tell he, he doesn't like this life. This life really ain't for him. But he's gonna do it for Abigail and uh, Abigail and Jack, I think. You know, I, I, I have hope. I have hope that we'll win them back. I'm optimistic. But when can we go and see Sadie, though, is my biggest question. I'm gonna go find Sadie. Oh, there's a doggo right there. I'm gonna go pet it. A few months later? Oh, we just... Tom just passing quicker than... Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's her fool. Oh my god. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. I thought you. the guy right there was Hosea Turned for like into a point two seconds. Worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. I miss Jose. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I feel like we've definitely proven ourselves to Mr. Dickens. Hopefully he can stop asking us questions and being such a nosy, nosy goose. You know? Go to Getty's house, all right? Hopefully we don't run into the wife who wanted to fuck me. Because that was a little awkward. <laughs> There's a gun right there. Huh. Watch it be the wife. Oh. Hey, son. How's that bull? I'm pleasantly surprised. Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Yeah, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. <laughs> In some ways, my wife... <laughs> my wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. I don't do I've that made. ever. Real issues. <laughs> hmm? I'm not like that. Do you believe a man can change, sir? I totally like Where that. Where is this heading? I guess I don't... Did Arthur teach you nothing? <laughs> I think the biggest thing that Arthur taught every single one of us is that anyone has the capacity to change. Everyone can do it. Everyone can change. There, it, there's no such thing as it's too late or it's impossible. No, everyone can change. Did you, did you learn anything from your brother, Arthur? I swear to God. <laughs> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. 
But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan? A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. Thank you. Take my advice, oh, no. Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. <laughs> did you see that? What he did right there? Oh, that was so cute. Oh, must be really lonely. All by yourself when you're just having a wife and kid, and then suddenly for months you're without him. What are you doing? What's he doing? Is he putting on different clothes? What's going on? He looked so blurry right there. Was that supposed to happen? It didn't look too great if that was supposed to happen. It might have just been my game though. Purple, pretty, blue flowers. They're my favorite thing. <gasps> what do we do first? What do we do first? Okay, I know that we should probably do the Ansel thing first. You know what? Fuck. I want to see Sadie. I'm sorry if that's not the order you want me to do it in, but I want to see Sadie. I hella want it. Oh, this music is kind of cute. Do you hear this happy-ass music? This is so uplifting and happy. I love it. <laughs> I've never had like a soundtrack piece of music before like this, except that one time, you know, just the way it is. <laughs> I fucking hate that song, yeah. Those words are forever cursed for me. <laughs> but yeah, this is nice. Oh, I almost ran into a tree. It's fine. The epilogue just has completely different vibes from any of the other chapters. Like, don't get me wrong, um, chapters one and two were kind of nice. Like, the whole, like, when we were mostly around Valentine, like, that was a really nice time in camp. It was, like, happy, mostly, you know? But, like, compared to, like, chapter five, or even, like, four, five, and six, like, the epilogue is so optimistic, uplifting. I feel like there will be struggles, there will be challenges, there will be setbacks, but at the end of the day, it's gonna turn all right. There's a rose, there's a plain. I have seen so much pain. Now I see into the eyes of a girl. No more, no more cruel. I just, I feel like there's hope. <laughs> There's so much hope just because of this silly song. Maybe life ain't so bad, y'all. Maybe it ain't so bad. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. <laughs> the world is cruel. Cruel, cruel world. <laughs> Every single time I run over an animal, I just want to fucking cry. Oh my god, it's a dead... It's a dead piece of meat. Is this the Downs old home? Oh yeah, it's so called Downs Ranch. I wonder who lives there now. Is, is the song gonna keep playing? 
Is anyone here? There is someone here. I'm gonna say hello to him. Morning, mister. All right. Is that all we have You're to okay, say? mister. Uh -huh. Be safe now. You take care now. Hmm. I was just curious. Sorry. <laughs> Doesn't look like they have any relation to the former owners, though. All right, let's continue on. <laughs> oh, I probably fucked up the music. No, wait, the music could be coming back. No, wait, I think I, I permanently fucked up the music. I don't think it's gonna be playing anymore. It's okay. I really like hearing this part of the music, too. It, it just takes me back. Like, okay, I know it sounds stupid, and it's literally my own damn fault for taking so long to play Red Dead, but, like, the last half year of playing Red Dead is a, kind of a big portion of my life. Like, there are so many different things that have changed since we started this game. Like, my editing style is different. Like, our community has, like, grown. I've changed a lot. I'm still going through a lot of, like, different transitions in my life. We graduated. We moved into, like, an actual house. We're working on a relationship. Just so many different things have changed since we first started playing this game. So I get, like, really intense nostalgia from still playing this game. I don't like, I haven't finished the game and I'm I'm getting nostalgic about it. It's it's a weird it's a weird thing. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Ooh. Ooh. Can I go in here? Can I do a show? Hello, here for a ticket to the show? Buy ticket. Is it gonna be the same fucking ticket, one? Please. Okay, head on in. Tent to your left. Alrighty. Is it gonna be the same one that we we saw last time? The bear whose tongue went like. <laughs> I'm actually kind of excited. I'm getting sidetracked already. Fuck. So I wish I brought Welcome a snack. Welcome one and all to the Hungry. remarkable example of modern entertainment at its finest. Now most of you youngins, I'm sure, know about our great national hero and pioneer Josiah Blackwater. Him that gave the town of Blackwater its nomenclature. This you seems see, different. Only about a hundred years ago, were nothing here but big old force, ferocious beasts, surly savages, arid deserts, and unconquered mountains. The West, well, the whole West was untamed. Your mama probably told you bedtime stories about Josiah's many adventures. But I'm gonna tell you I'm a story sad. you might like to have heard about his just... awesome hat. Now, Josiah Blackwater was born in the year of our Lord. Everything we do just reminds me of Arthur. Because I did it with Arthur first. His pa gave him his first rifle when he was three oh my years God. old. Boy, he took you right God. away. He exclaimed, There's a whole mess of critters out there in the woods. I need to eat us. So I'm gonna consume them first. Yes, sir. He really took to killing all manner of things. He was such a keen shot. One morning, he was sorting up some wood for the root cellar when a big old bear and her cubs came in the kitchen hunting for food. It had a mind to eat up all the jams and preserves. At least it doesn't have a weird wiggling tongue like the last bear. And squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. He whooped the tar clean out of that big old critter. Then he tied her up, grabbed them cups, and ground them into sausages while the mama bear watched. <sighs> that fine eating. Oh, that's kind of disturbing, though. Right then, he was cut out to be the finest wild frontiersman that ever drew breath. But first, they wanted him to get some books. It's kind of disturbing, y'all. Three days of attending school. Josiah beat the living daylights out of a class bully and announced to his daddy that he was tired of ciphering and mathematics on account it's only good for adding up the number of critters or Indians you can kill. So, he ran away from home and headed west. Now, these lands were occupied by savages then, and when Josiah Blackwater came scouting through, he recognized it to be a land of splendor, wasted on those that couldn't appreciate it on account of worship and false idols. He got rid you gotta of all love buffalo, the racism those infernal and culture erase sure. That got them mildly riled up, so he had to slaughter all of them. Oh, just like his daddy had once done to the Redcoats in 1775. Right about that time, he met an Indian girl he took pity on, on account of having annihilated her family. She was 12 years old, 
And so he took her as his wife. She gave him two sons before she died of typhoid. So Pocahontas, now, basically. Josiah Blackwater wore a possum for a hat. But most don't know how that came to be. Well, one day, old Josiah was riding a couple of alligators down the Lanahatchee River. Riding, standing up, and shooting eagles right out of the sky. When he sees a big old mountain lion about to eat a possum. Josiah grabbed that mountain lion by the tail and wrestled it till it was plumb dead. Well, that possum really took to Josiah. Followed him around like a dog loyal to his master. Yes, they had a lot of adventures together. Now Josiah never cried a day in his life, but he pert near dead on the day that possum passed. Aww. For they were mighty fine <laughs> friends. So he skinned Josiah. it and made it into a hat. Ah. Back in them days, a possum skin was as good as money. But he never parted with that hat. Not even for ten dollars. Once he founded the town of... So this racist pedophilic does one good thing shows remorse or shows unhappiness by the fact a possum died and then suddenly I'm like, oh, <laughs> but he's literally, he deserves death, low key. <laughs> Blackwater, he sent word for settlers to come. It was the last stop in the West before San Francisco. He met a girl by the name of Rufina Hellsby at a barn dance one night, took her as his wife, settled down built himself a cattle empire and had 14 youngins oh my god that poor little water wasn't the home that poor kind, wife he grew mighty restless. that poor wife One day on the courthouse steps he announced you may all go to hell and i will go to saint denis and so he did enjoyed french pursuits strumpets and walking gluttony which is where he came from the idea of running for congress Goals. he wore that possum hat every day as a congressman Goals. as a reminder of where he come from saying i may live in barbaric splendor but i always remember keep your friends close and your gun closer because you don't know when you might have to shoot them oof well it was entertaining and cringy for obvious reasons. <laughs> uh, this time period, I wouldn't survive a single fucking day. All right, well, I'm actually glad that we stopped by to do this. Definitely kind of makes me sad. Makes me think of our earliest Red Dead Redemption 2 episodes. A lot has changed. Oh, we should go take a bath? <gasps> I love taking baths here. We should get the deluxe or the premium bath, you know? Do you hear the guy moaning up there? Pretty sure that's the same fucking guy from a few years ago. <laughs> I would like an expensive deluxe premium bath, please. Um, wait, how do I get a deluxe premium bath again? I totally forgot. Did I miss it in the menu would there? You like any assistance? <gasps> yes, please! Um, I love this music. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Sit back and relax, son. I thought that was Mary Beth. And honestly, I was so confused. I guess it's not, but like, she kind of looked like Mary Beth. Oh Let my god. You'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. On my dick, please. Folks around here are kind of stuck up, isn't they? Yes, that's how it is around here. Always been. So, uh, how are things? Yes, not too bad. Sure is good to relax. Really now? Yeah, it is nice. <laughs> Especially when you're doing it, thank you. <laughs> There's a, a weird amount of chemistry between the bath ladies and the men they bathe. Now. Maybe I'm imagining it though. <laughs> I stay any longer, I'll turn into soup. She gave us a little kiss. Okay, maybe we'll cross paths again. You cannot tell me that doesn't look like Mary Beth. That looks a little like Mary Beth. <laughs> I'm glad we stopped to do this. It makes me think of Arthur, though. Everything that we did with Arthur, we're doing now, and it's... I feel so sorry for the girls around here. It's different. I hear the commotion from the rooms all the time, and it just ain't friendly. Yeah. It be like that. <laughs> oh, wait. This... Was this always built? I'm pretty sure this wasn't built last time we were here. This Ever is new. That died, heard it was poison. Ain't the first time. Yeah, they were building this a few years ago, and now it's actually, like, here? Can I go in? No? Is there another entrance? No, I don't think I- I just don't think I can go in there. Damn, but I think it's so cool. Some things have changed. Some things have not. Well, or let's just go in here. Let's just go into the bar. 
I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. She hasn't changed a little. No! Oh my god! Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. Oh, we have no choice but to stand. Hi, Z. Good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Mm-hmm. Guess I didn't do it. Real good job of hiding my identity. Yeah, you suck at it. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you kill a feller up by Roanoke? No, I don't know what you're talking sure about. <laughs> I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. She left me. She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy and you to her. property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly mm. and some other stuff. You need to be really good yeah, at bounties. Are you any interest in bounties? No, nah, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Trying to, anyway. Oh, huh. well, it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? I don't I care heard. as long as we get to hang out with Got Sadie. From New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pen. A pen? He's an accountant. I oh, think. okay. Hope it's not the accountant I was supposed Sounds to see. Easy. Come on. To get a, a loan a for the place. Hello, Sadie to Strawberry. Wait, Strawberry? It's kind of far away you from said Valentine. You something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. Oh, what? what? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounding like him. Uh, about a year back? Why hasn't Karma yeah, killed him we yet? Said, if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. Let's I go find him. I didn't see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher My now. God. I aim to be. The ones I who deserve to die for. never die uh -huh. soon enough. This country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Well, I can only hope that Micah is included in that term, bad folk. I can only pray. Dear Lord Jesus, uh, Zeus, uh, Odin, whoever, please make Micah die. And please let it be a good death. Yes, yes. Gory, maybe? Um, blood. Lots of blood. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of blood. I would- oh. I, I want to see Micah die. I'm gonna be upset if he doesn't die in front of my eyes. I will be. Dutch can die too, but like in a less bloody way. Maybe less painful. What can I I've said my prayers right, for the day. See what you can find. Like I said, the fella's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker. Bald. 45. Okay. You hit him that way. All right, all right, all right. Do you know any Nathan Kirk? Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No, not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be it then. Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Where do I find the welcome center? Okay. Well, thank you. thank you. Thank you so much for the help. I appreciate it. Welcome center, here we come. Okay, I'm gonna... don't want to bust in the door. What now? <laughs> okay. I, that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'll just Easy talk enough. to this person. You, uh... You seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s sort of. <clears throat> His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Charming means jack shit. Here? He's, uh, 
up in room three. Oh, he gave us the information easy. Thank you. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. We're not very convincing when we say that. How exciting. The hotel owner don't give a shit because he's already got his money from this Nathan Kirk guy. Nathan is a great name. We love the name Nathan here in this community. Uh, okay, that's room one. Uh, is this room three? I can't see. Yeah, this is three. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? I've got some mail for you. What is it? It's just a f <gasps> Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Sadie, go after him. Got him? Oh, shut up! Okay. Oh, <gasps> that was cool. Remember, we want him alive, though. Alrighty. So if I shoot him in the kneecap, he'd probably still stay alive, right? Remember, we want him alive. Alrighty. Oh, fine, fine. I'll put away my gun just in case we don't want a little accident, you know? I'm ready. I'm ready. Wait, where- yeah, where the fuck is she going? Did he go this way? Oh, fuck. No, I see him. He's in my sights. No. Not going to do that. What did she do? Oh. My goodness. Oh my goodness. I'll just- just run them over. We're on a mission. We're on a mission. Just fucking run over the sheep. I mean, sheep are so cute and they're so fat and cuddly. I'm not gonna be able to catch him because I'm so out of energy. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. Okay, we're almost there. The horse hates me, but it's okay. I'm going the wrong way. Fuck, I lost him. I literally just had him and now I lost him again because of dumb shit. Dumb shit that was my fault. But you know what? We don't need to- we don't need to focus on that. I'm trying to like do a warning shot with him. It's not really working. And when I can't shoot someone, it's so annoying. Okay, fine. I'm getting my lasso out. That's what I want to do. Come on, come here. What you caught there? Caught myself a fine steer. Get off me! Nope. No can doosville, baby doll. Sorry. <laughs> Hogtied. As you should be. As you should be. Oh, let me loot you real quick. So nice to be doing something Thanks with Sadie. That, Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but mm, it's one stay for life. My wife is a is a desperate woman. How, how are you buried, sir? Yeah. <laughs> Barely. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm acting like I say. What now? Where shall what if, I send the money? What if he? I ain't been paid. What if he is innocent? Who'll do it for me? Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. Hell yes! I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so... I'll come find you. 100% would do it. We'll definitely do more stuff with Sadie. She's my favorite. I love her so much. Alright, nice! Let's go to the bank then. Let's go to the bank. Bank, let's... Go get money. Let's try not to fall off any cliffs. No slipping and sliding today. Oh, thank God. <laughs> there will be no death of me and my horse. Not if I can help it. <gasps> oh, the sunlight right there. Glowing through the trees. It's so pretty. Oh my God. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> God, I love this fucking game. <sighs> so golden. How many times do you think I've avoided this? I've definitely avoided that side mission for like an entire game. One of these days I'll do it. But today is not that day. <gasps> oh. This game is probably the most beautiful game I've ever seen. Like I know that every game has beautiful moments and beautiful sceneries and everything, but I think this one is the best out of all of them. You know, Red Dead is just gonna ruin me for every other game. Because now I'm just gonna be a picky ass bitch with high standards when it comes to other games. Because this is a fucking masterpiece. And if other games do not hold a candle to this one, I ain't gonna play it, I ain't gonna like it. 
I feel very uncomfortable being here. It's whack. It's whack. Finally being- we're finally here in the infamous Blackwater. I don't think I've ever seen it in the daylight because I think there was a mission where we were like around the edges of Blackwater, but I'm not sure if we ever like entered Blackwater. This might be the first time. <sighs> Look at the fucking sunset! I feel very uncomfy being here in the infamous Blackwater though. It's only a matter of time before I get murdered, I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Land down in classes. Land down in classes. I read that so wrong. Oh my god, I think the dryer is drying clothes and it's fucking loud. Are we, are we just gonna wait for a minute? So we just slept here all night? <laughs> Shit. I couldn't sleep in public sitting up like that. I couldn't do it. Howdy! I would like to borrow money. Thank you. <laughs> Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm. On account of his lack of farming skills, huh? So this is going Don't well. Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Hopeful. I want a second chance. Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, a new sit life. down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. I don't want to take these terms low-key. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork. <laughs> Boom, I'm ready. I'm ready to kill some motherfuckers today, my pupule. I'm fucking ready. Oh, I bet Sadie's around here in the bar somewhere. Uh, we'll wait. We'll continue on, go checking out. Checking out. Yeah. Yeah. We'll continue on with this one. Oop! I'm not making friends here in Blackwater, which... It's not that much of a surprise. Do I have any guns on my horse? Howdy! Would you like to die today? Can I help you, friend? Is this the house we're buying? It's horrible looking. It's so run down. Holy shit. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> this is barely a house. So sure about. Listen. This is a porta potty. I'm buying this land. I'm afraid. I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna owns it. That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? Um, because you want to die. Uh, I could give money Look, to you. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> You're a real gentleman. Okay, boys. Let's go celebrate. Wait, are they actually leaving? Thanks, mister. I was literally- I was actually gonna kill all of them. I was getting ready- oh. 
Well, damn, I'm glad we, we, we tried to give them money first, because it all worked out, you know? It's all good. I, I don't want to take out a loan for this property, though, low-key. It's... It's ugly. It is disgusting. It is not even a house. The property is trash. Like, literal trash. There's trash everywhere. To be honest, I don't want it. I... And the terms are shitty, and it's probably gonna have high interest. No, we shouldn't Why take it. you! Mm. The man with two names and no past. Yeah, not suspicious at all. <laughs> How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Yep. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this nope. place? It's really run down yep. and the price isn't too great. Yep. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Aww. Okay. Well, sign here and here. I think it's a bad decision, but if it's for Abigail, if it's for love, it's still a bad decision, mm -hmm. but like, I can get on board with it a little bit more. <laughs> Looking back and forth. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, oh. and we own Mr. Milton too, and we own your property. I don't like but those words. You can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. That do be America. <laughs> I'm they own me. It. They just own your property. Now you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. I understand the jokes, because, like, I get that, like, as partners, like, we, we complain about a lot of stuff. But I also feel like we have valid things to complain about, you know? You? Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? Uncle. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone Not yet. straight. Oh, bull crap. <laughs> no, for real. <sighs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> Not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> he just oh, invites himself. Oh, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. <laughs> Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. Lumbago. Jesus. I've never been able to tell, and no one work? will ever tell me if it's a joke Follow or not. Me. Is it actually painful? Is it even real? I will never know. The comments constantly make memes out of it, and no one will ever give me a straight answer if lumbago is actually a real thing. And if uncle actually has it, and if uncle is actually in pain because of such a thing. No, well, I will, I just will never know. He sure taking his sweet time. It'd be nice if you didn't run off on me again. It'd be nice if you could keep up, old man. Now, as I was saying, Wes, oh God, ain't you a man of few words? You're going the wrong way. I am? I... I can see we're headed west. Fine, I'll go the- You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. Fine. I don't care I'll, how I see. I'll go the way you want me to. Well, now, where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? Dear Lord, wrong way. Oh, God. He told me wrong this way. Ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Hold oh, on, I want a ranch in the armpit okay. of West Okay, now he's going the right way. Oh my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse! <laughs> yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left her? Uncle! <laughs> oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. Wow, I love <laughs> no more of that. this 
just bought this place. reunion. <laughs> You're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. <laughs> Look at all the trash. Look at the run-down state of this estate. <laughs> ah, home sweet home! This little shack on a prairie. <laughs> Laura Ingalls would this fucking cry. <laughs> Look at her. It's disgusting! <gasps> okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For to win her back. Why? Is she an idiot? No. Because I love what her. What are you thinking? And she I wants don't know. it. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> dirt. Rocks? Yeah, we, dirt and rocks. We don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. Why John, are you stuck? the rock farmer. <laughs> Why so, is Uncle Stain? You think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Oh my god. You know what? Uncle always just annoyed me. I never really liked him all that much until kind of like towards the end of like chapter six. He wasn't so bad. But you know what? This is kind of nice to see him again. This is kind of- I like it. I don't- I don't know why. I wasn't even that attached to him in the like first six chapters, but for some reason this is- this is really nice. It's a little bit of familiarity. So we've seen Sadie, we've seen Uncle, Micah's been talked about. Who do you think is next? Who do you think we could see next? We saw a Mary Beth doppelganger in the bathhouse, but what's what's after that? <laughs> Wait, that fence looks pretty good. Now wait a damn minute, it's probably a really good place to stop, but... But, I want to see what other sorts of improvements- No, I think the house still looks like shit, never mind. I was hoping, like, we had made the house, like, prettier. But, you know what? That's okay. That is just okay. Well, here it is. <laughs> and it's kind of nice to have Uncle here in our home. You know, he's just snoozing. Being a lazy, a lazy butt. <laughs> but it's kind of nice to have him here anyway. Alright, y'all. I think this is a great place to stop for today. I can't believe we fit. Wait, how many chapters are there of the epilogue? I'm worried that there aren't as many chapters of the epilogue as my mind is telling me because I'm thinking there might be like four, but I'm worried that there's going to be less than that. So if there's anything I need to do or anywhere I need to visit in the next episode, please let me know in the comments below so that we can do that. I don't want to miss anything now that we're nearing, I guess, the end of the game, but I definitely enjoy this weird, like, weird kind of change of pace. It's the Red Dead we, like, know and love, but it's more uplifting and hopeful and happy and optimistic and all the good adjectives. Like, when we compare it to chapters, you know, like, four, five, six, like, this hits so different, but I'm really here for it because it's kind of just a joy to play. <laughs> as much as I miss Arthur and kind of everything we do reminds me of Arthur, I really like playing as John. It's nice, I like him. Um, it's kind of weird that I'm, I feel like I'm getting to know him more now that like the game is over and we're in an epilogue stage. I am really curious to see kind of what the story in the epilogue is gonna be like, if it's gonna kind of like remain chill like this or if it's gonna amp up in any way. In any way. Regardless, whichever one happens or if it's something else, like, I'm here for it. I'm really liking this change of pace. I'm like, when we're ending this episode right now, I don't feel like depressed out of my fucking mind, which I'm grateful for. <laughs> I don't feel all riled up. Like there's something really chill about this. And I had a great time playing today. I hope you did too. And until the next episode of whatever we're doing, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye guys. guy up here or something good. <gasps> it looks so pretty up here. Oh, I love it. This homeboy better have something tasty. Something scrum diddly umptious. Oh, yes. Yes, $3. Very, very scrum diddly umptious indeed. <laughs>